If you've been on the App Store, you've probably seen a little game called Clash Royale. Clash Royale is an online strategy game where you use different cards to destroy the opponent's towers. The game has been around for six years now, so there's bound to be some lesser known things. Today, I'm going to cover the Clash Royale Iceberg. If you don't know what an iceberg chart is, then look it up because we're going straight into it. Hee 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 ha. Hee 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 ha refers to an emo in Clash Royale. <laughs> the emo has been memed upon, plainly due to its toxicity and how spammed it is. Nerf Royal Giant. The Royal Giant was extremely broken for a long time, and in a loading quip, Super Soul even makes a joke about it. Magic items. Magic items were added on April 5th, 2021. These items include wild cards, the magic coin, all sorts of books, and more. Hashtag cancel level 14. Hashtag cancel level 14 was a hashtag by the community to not release the level 14 update. However, Supercell didn't listen. And they should have listened because I was so close to maxing out log bait, but then of course, the update had to drop, and now I have to do it all again. Thank you, Supercell. The P.E.K.K.A. is a female. Multiple times through the game, the P.E.K.K.A. is referred to as she. My question is, where is the Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s father? The Mini P.E.K.K.A. has a mother, where's the father? This is getting way too relatable. Clash of Clans and Clash Royale are in the same universe. If you somehow didn't know this, then you're kinda dumb. Card reworks. There have been many card reworks over the years. The two most recent ones were the Electro Giant and the Elixir Pump reworks. Okay, so this is uh, post-editing me, so um, yeah, there, there, there isn't a script here. So I had this idea for a rework for the elixir pump the other day, where it's like, you have to tap the elixir pump, and then you claim your elixir, right? And all leaked elixir that you've had would actually go into the elixir pump, and so you know, you could claim it, and if the elixir pump gets destroyed, all of the elixir that was like previously quote-unquote inside of it would just immediately go to you. I don't know if that's a dumb idea or not, uh, but whatever, you 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 be the judge of that. Anyways, uh, post-editing Malevents out. Clasherama. Clasherama is an animated series of anthologies in the Clash Royale universe. There are currently two seasons, with the talk of a third season coming soon, but I really do not think that's going to happen. Executioner change. The Executioner's card image was changed for being, quote, too scary. Post-editing Malevins back here again, and, uh, I guess it's kind of true that it was too scary, because I had a nightmare once about the Executioner, and, uh, yeah, that's it. He was chasing me around a, a Wendy's with an axe and kept trying to throw it at me. That wasn't a joke. Old emote noises. Before other emotes were added, the four king emotes had different noises. Ah. <laughs> Ha 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 during the Fisherman Reveal trailer, the fish says... There's a flow! Maurice, they're not listening! Gem Rush. Gem Rush was similar to Gold Slash Crown Rush, except you earned gems. We haven't gotten one since 2018, though, so I think it's safe to say it's not coming back. One Card Glitch. Back in 2021, there was a glitch where you could have one infinite card in your deck. Here's some footage of it now. Oh my god, it's a five it's a five elixir miner. But it's level 14. Training camp is builder's workshop theory. First theory on the iceberg, and it's quite interesting. This theory gets its name because the tree in training camp is destroyed. This fence here, these stones, and this arrow. But that might be stretching it a little bit. Heal spell. The heal spell is the only removed card in Clash Rail history. The heal spell was replaced by the heal spirit. And fun fact, there's a memorial to the Heal Spirit in the Heal Spirit's summary. Ice Wizard Tower. The Ice Wizard Tower is a cut card where it would be an Ice Wizard, except it would be a building. 
That is literally all it was. It was supposed to be the first legendary building, but once again, it didn't come to the game, so no legendary buildings. Zero four. In a Clash Royale loading screen, a scoreboard displays zero four, even though that isn't possible. Dragons were too big. Supercell were planning to add the dragon from Clash of Clans, but they weren't able to because they were too big. Supercell added the BB Dragon as a compromise. Giant Skeleton Tombstone During an April Fool's prank, Supercell let YouTubers mess around with a tombstone that spawned giant skeletons. Little Ghost used to be the king. This is kinda obvious, but honestly pretty dark if you think about it. This also raises an interesting question. Do all dead kings turn into royal ghosts when they're killed? Mega Knight is the builder from Clash of Clans theory. This theory states that the builder is the Mega Knight. This is because of the similar facial features. Do I believe this? No. Do I think it's stupid? Yes. Pekka Pekka. This was a scrap card that went through two versions. A version that was a normal Pekka that dropped a mini Pekka when killed, and a version that could one-shot literally everything in the game. Supercell thought both ideas were too broken and scrapped the card. And I guess this answers the question of where Mini Pekka's dad is. Are Clash Royale cards technically cannibals? This is a theory I made, so listen up. We all know Clash Royale troops are made out of elixir, but in Clash Rama and a Clash of Clans ad, they are seen drinking elixir. So are they technically cannibals? The lumberjack made the log. In a Clash Royale ad, the lumberjack is seen spilling his rage on the log creating it. The king kidnapped the troops from Clash of Clans. In a Clash Royale ad, the king forcefully takes troops from a Clash of Clans village. Mortar costed six elixir. In the Clash Royale reveal trailer, for a split second you can see that the mortar was six elixir. Thankfully, Supercell changed it to four elixir. Supercell teased the eagle on back in 2018. In an April Fool's image, you can see it an early version of the eagle back before it was released. The king is a god. Think about it. He can summon troops literally out of thin air. That kinda sounds like a god to me. The firecracker was an archer. In the firecracker description, it says she was a firecracker that got bored. Royal recruits are robots theory. This theory states that the royal recruits are robots built by the master builder because obviously, they can't see out of their helmets. The master builder is in the flying machine. If you didn't know this, well, now you know. Also, the materials needed to build it are in the master builder base. Hologram tower. This was a cut card that was a building that would be a fake princess tower that would trick troops. This was a dumb idea though, so it was cut. Plus, every single other building does that exact same thing. E-barb hut. This is another cut card that was like the Barbarian Hut, except it would spawn E-barbs. It was too overpowered, and luckily, was cut. Dead Royal Recruits turned into Guards Theory. This is the most believable theory on the iceberg. This theory gets its name because of how similar the Guards and Royal Recruits look. They both have spears, shields, both are royal, and they have similar attack animations. Brawl Stalls and Clash Royale. To hype up the release of Brawl Stars, Supercell made a game mode where they reskinned the Magic Archer and the Musketeer as Brawl Star characters. I've never played Brawl Stars, so I don't know their names. Sorry. And that's the iceberg. I hope this video was informative while being entertaining. If you would like an extended cut with more info, like this video, subscribe, and join the Discord. Anyways, thank you and I hope you all enjoyed.